Welcome. My name is Bernd Lieger. I'm the VP of Marketing and Localytics. Thank you for joining us for another Whiteboard Wednesday session today. Our topic is Customer Lifetime Value, CLV, and we want to focus specifically on how you can drive CLV for your customers within your apps. So if you look at a traditional definition of CLV or Customer Lifetime Value and you go to Wikipedia, you'll see something as complicated as this. And what they're trying to say is, for you to calculate CLV, you have to do a quite complicated calculation of your net present value, you have to make a prediction into the future. So you can make CLV as complicated as you want it to be, or you can make CLV as simple as you want it to be. Which contrasts on this side, CLV in, in the most simple terms is how much revenue are you driving with your customers. And uh, obviously, a lot of organizations aren't even here yet. If you look at kind of the maturity of the mobile space, most organizations can't even calculate CLV for the customers today. So this is a great starting point in order for you to understand how much effort are you putting into your marketing spend, your cost of customer acquisition, and how does that contrast with the ultimate lifetime value of your customers. Uh, for example, let's say you're selling widgets and you sell three widgets to a customer at $10 each, your customer lifetime value for that customer would be $30. And if your cost of customer acquisition is $15, your profit is $15, so that's, that's a great customer to have. That's a customer you want to reinvest in, you want to drive more revenue through. So, so what you want to do is basically kind of map out for your organization, which obviously is very unique to, to your company, what does this look like, your, your curve look like in regards to CLV over time for either your individual customers or for your customer segments, which probably is more likely. And you might find that one segment is, has a curve like this, meaning you have a very fast acceleration of high expenditure in the beginning, and then it kind of plateauing and flattening out. Whereas segment B might be a straight increase where your customers or your customer segment just continues to increase more and more spend. Now, that's obviously great information to have because ultimately what you want to do is you want to have that secret sauce and understanding of what measures that you take leads to a higher increase in, in expenditure. Now, we at Localytics, we help you, give you the metrics and the insight that will help you create that equation for your organization. We give you the foundation for that and then you can tailor that very specifically to your own organization. What that gives you is an understanding of metrics such as are my iOS users driving more CLV than my Android users? Are my iPad users more profitable than my smartphone users? And you can dig as wide and as deep as you want to. So recommendation here is leverage a, a granular, detailed, real-time analytics solution that helps you understand how you can drive CLV within your customer base. With that, thank you very much for joining us again. My name is Bernd Lieger at Localytics, and we look forward to seeing you very soon again. Thank you.